Hi friends, uh, I'm Chloe Madison. I'm an artist in the Bay Area. If you're watching this right now, you probably actually already know me at this point. Um, and I want to talk about my New Year's resolution, which is doing videos for YouTube. And I want to start just doing uh, vlogs like this one. Um, weekly would be the goal, honestly. Um, just to talk about what's going on, I have had this goal for so long to do really polished um, YouTube videos and the thing is, is I always get stuck either not having content because I haven't made anything. Um, the focus of a lot of my stuff would mainly be DIY type of things. Um, or the other thing is that the, the actual process itself of video production actually gets in the way of um, making the things itself, or the making things takes priority um, more recently, and that's why my YouTube channel dried up like two years ago, because I actually was starting to make a business. So I think videos like this, hopefully, can be a little bit more off the cuff. I won't have to do much on the back end in terms of editing, um, and if I do, it can actually all be done on my iPad, which is amazing. Um, I used to be such a video purist, but now I have this tiny little camera and my iPad, and I'm like the happiest person in the world. Um, anyway, so today I just kind of want to like do, I, I have some big updates. I, I think just like updating everybody in general will allow me to express out of the things that I want to express. Um, I do a lot of projects and I work on a lot of things that people just have no idea what I'm doing all the time and I do so, ma so many things um, that people don't really understand what it is that I do. So I, I, I just want to update people and keep people uh, you know, notified. And on a side note, apparently I'm going to be going into the new year smoke free, which is fucking amazing. Uh, I didn't actually plan that to be a new year's resolution. I don't necessarily think it should be. I think I should just be doing it for myself anyways. Um, but I just started taking Chantix, uh, a few weeks ago and I'm already down to like three or four cigarettes a day and it's, I'm super stoked about that. Um, today might be a four cigarette day, uh, but it is only December 1st and I got in a whole nother 30 days to go and I believe by then I'll, like in the next two weeks or so, I'll probably uh, not even be smoking much or just like bumming cigs off of friends and whatnot. Um, but today I got a, you know, a van update. I got a really very important piece of tech for my van as we go into the colder months of the year. Um, one of the things when I moved out to the bay that I wasn't uh, actually didn't really take into account was uh, that it's still kind of cold. Um, I mean not as cold as Detroit but definitely still can get pretty cold. Uh, so what I got is, is in this giant fucking box right here. I don't know if we're gonna get this all on camera but I'm gonna try. Um, Right. Let's see what we can show now. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you straight up that what is in here is a heater, as you probably could have surmised from my I have been saving up for this thing for months now. Um, if you don't know, I live in a van. I live in a 1997 Ford Aerostar. And um, to heat in here is basically just let the car idle for like an hour and then jump under the covers and hope for the best for the rest of the night. But more recently, 
uh, I've been going through and insulating. Uh, I have a little bit of insulation over here and over here. Uh, I've been using denim insulation because it's uh, relatively cheap, uh, easy to get from Home Depot, and like super non-toxic and like doesn't have fibers and stuff. You, you don't need to wear a mask uh, to, to put it in and um, so that's going to help with one thing. The other thing is, is that this van came with a, an auxiliary, uh, heating and cooling system in the back. So basically what they did from the front is on the AC and the, uh, and the heating lines is they teed off. So you have an input, um, into, uh, in the case when, uh, heater, your heating block, uh, and the AC would be an evaporator, um, the evaporator, the condenser, I always fucking forget, anyways, and then you have an input and an output, and to do a second one, they just tee off and put a whole second, uh, set of things over there with a, a blower, this, a huge, like, selling point in the 90s for vans. Uh, but that takes up a lot of space and I can only use it when the car is running, which sucks. Um, so this, oh my gosh, she's pretty. This, my friends, is a five kilowatt diesel heater from China. Now there were a couple companies that made these probably probably more recently started being available from the Chinese manufacturers but like a decade ago another com other companies were making these and selling these for like 800 bucks and now you can go on now like on Amazon I was looking at them for like $175 and then I realized that on eBay I paid $104 for this. And this isn't the only thing that comes in the box. I've got more things that, like accessories that come with this. And this is intended to be like fully installed within the vehicle. Um, you can actually see here on the bottom, uh, we have an intake and outtake. So this pulls in air uh, for the combustion chamber. And then this is your exhaust. So this would sit flat on the floor um, and you would have uh, tubes coming off here, which are included, and then this all gets bolted down. Um, and then one of these is uh, air intake, and one of these is uh, hot air out for the van itself. So this lives inside the van. Um, I think this actually pops off, but I might not. Oh, yeah. There we go. Actually, I kind of want to see what this thing looks like. Look at that. Yeah, so we have uh, an impeller fan here, uh, just a little brain box, and in here is a combustion chamber uh, for diesel fuel. And then this just this whole thing just blows air over this entire. You can see all this these uh, uh, heat sink fans, and then it collects over here, and then you have some tubing into the into the van. That's cool as fuck. So yeah, this is basically like the cheapest way to heat a uh, small enclosure and five, and 5 kilowatts is like absolutely more than I would ever need in this van. So this thing is probably going to smoke me out one way or the other, but we have ways to work around that. Um, so I'm going to put this down back in your home for a minute. Uh, here's the digital controller. Uh, this will live probably over here somewhere. Um, but eventually, uh, I actually got this one specifically because uh, there's a guy on the internet who has uh, reverse engineered these and made an open source uh, wirelessly compatible version that you can make yourself. This, I believe, is the fuel pump. And below that is, what we got here? Oh yeah, 
What's funny about these, they actually include a little remote. So I can sit up front and get it started uh, from what I hear. It takes a little while for these to heat up. Uh, so you definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna wanna start it when I'm heading back from, to my parking spot from the office. And then we have this other guy here. That has all the goodies in there. Uh, I can see fuel line, uh, intake, exhaust, wiring harness. Here is uh, ducting for to put your thing wherever you want to put it. Wiring harness, yeah. You know, uh, a whole bunch of fasteners and things, clamps and whatnot, and underneath all of this is a way better, bigger than I expected fuel tank, oh yeah, and a muffler, here's a muffler, I'm going to actually toss that boy in there, here's the bottom plate to help keep it connected to the vehicle. Um, I'm thinking this is actually, that's interesting. This is so you like cut a square hole, I think, and then you can just put this on top and then bolt this down to the van. That doesn't make sense. I'm, I probably can make these two cuts myself and be okay. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. I'm just leaving there. And then the fuel tank is ginormous, and I need to figure out where I'm gonna put this boy. Um, I was thinking actually over here by the driver's door. But maybe in back over here, and I can run the. Actually, I can run the. How much line do I have? Oh, I've got plenty of line. Oh boy. Yeah, I can put this anywhere. That's what that makes a hassle for like filling up, because then like I gotta fill up here and then I gotta fill up there. Am I filling up at the same time? Probably. And then move between the fill ups. That's a pain in the ass. Um, I mean, if I put it here, that'd be okay. But then a lot of times the person in front of me is blocking me. Yeah, it, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I'm gonna put this stuff back, back in here. And I'm really excited for this. Um, I, I feel like this is absolutely necessary if I'm planning on doing this long term. Um, you know, a lot of people just don't, don't wanna, I have a lot of friends who aren't into, you know, they got into this under poor circumstances and don't necessarily want to continue. I got under it, into it under poor circumstances, and I had already been kind of dreaming about doing this anyways, so, um, it definitely stuck. And I am trying to at least make this um, this thing in my home for the time being. I do expect, hopefully, hopefully sometime next year, I can uh, get a larger van. And, yeah. Oh, I got myself one more. I got myself a Christmas present. This, this is home necessity. This is operating my furnace, right? I actually did own a house once back in Michigan. If y'all didn't know, uh, right after the crash, I bought a house just outside of Detroit for $27,500. And fixing things was a nightmare. 
um, especially since that house was in Michigan and wasn't even insulated. Better than a fan not being insulated. I mean, mind you, you don't generally insulate vans. More recently, maybe, but a house, the house was not insulated at all. Much worse. Is that what I said earlier? Yeah, much worse because you never really insulated them. Anyways, I had to knock down walls and replace plumbing, and it was a great like experience. But everything you're always chasing after every um, fix and upgrade. I mean, on a van, maybe at a certain point, mechanical failures will be something you'll I'll be chasing after. But I'm impressed for my van and the condition that it was in when I first got her. Um, and doing minor upgrades like this, this heater, which is like super reasonably, reasonably priced. You go on eBay, you search for five kilowatt diesel heater. Um, filling this tank is probably gonna cost like 10 bucks, not even. Um, and I, I don't know how long this is going to run, but I the the best way to do heat, the most efficient way to do heat, is through um, fuel and not electricity. Um, to do any semblance of heat in electricity, I would need <clears throat> to heat a space this small. It's just not possible. You'd you'd have to have like so many times more than the the square footage um, of this enclosure itself just to heat it through electricity. So the only two options are really this diesel heater and a lot of other van lifers like to use them as their Mr. Buddy heaters. Um, but those those pose other problems as well and are quite a bit more dangerous from what I hear. Um, and this is this is all built in and I can punch a button or simply push a remote button and I can have heat in my van and be comfortable and not wake up with every muscle in my body feeling like it wants to die. So this, on the other hand, is my Christmas present to myself. No, not not an entire Xbox, but just an Xbox One X S controller. Um, I've been wanting these, one of these for a couple years now, and <clears throat> I uh, saw the price had dri dipped over the weekend. Since I have uh, it in my cart, or in my save for later, which is where pretty much everything I get goes. Uh, and I knew the price was, and I saw it, and it was not it was significantly lower than normal. So I was like, fuck it, I wanna play some games. And I have a couple tablets that I can hook up and play some emulators. Um, and I have, I do have, uh, a graphics card on my desktop, but not quite in the shape to play games yet. Um, oh, she's pretty. And I've always loved the feel of Xbox controllers. Oh my god. I, I've i actually not held an Xbox One S controller. Is that HDMI? What connector is that? That's an interesting connector. That's HDMI Mini. Is it? No. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I've never held an Xbox One. S controller. Well, I still gotta get. Um. Yeah, that feels really good. I'm not a fan of the PlayStation controllers. And I just want to play some games. I also, you know, I got my iPad. I'm sure there's some games on there. Um, 
you know, Apple just added um, Xbox, like direct Xbox and uh, PlayStation 1 or PlayStation controller support. So that'll be cool. Um, I don't know, it's just something nice for myself that I wanted to get and I had a little bit of money to spend. So I got myself a controller. Anyways, that is my first video. It's not even the new year yet, and I want to start doing these uh, weekly. I took the time out. I made sure that I came out here and, and sat and did this with you. Hopefully I can cut this down, because I've been talking for 25 minutes now. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm doing this just to help out with my business and also for myself to kind of share because I've always wanted to like educate people and talk to people about uh, things that I know about so that's what we're gonna do here on the info dump appropriately named the info dump uh, from here on out and continue to do, the, do that hopefully every week uh, and I will try to start also making some more produced videos um, that will come out on an irregular basis when uh, I can get around to those when I have a little bit more capacity to do those uh, as I work on my business. And my business is making open source art and hardware that I sell on Amazon currently and a couple other places. I personally, as an artist, work mainly with concrete, but I also make things that are electronic of nature. Uh, tools is mostly where I fall in line. and. They're really more show than tell type of things, so you can see all those things at vdbx.io. I'm Clomads on social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook-ish, uh, and I'm here. So hit the subscribe button, the bell and stuff. So bye. Have a great week.